Hi everybody, today I am going to share with you why I don't homeschool my kids. For those of you who may be new, my name is Bailey and on this channel I share ideas for doing educational activities with your kids and encouraging them to play with purpose. Subscribe if that sounds like something you might be interested in. Now because my channel is mostly geared towards early childhood education, most people who stumble upon my channel probably assume that we are a homeschooling family. We have a school room, we have a school shelf over here that I put themed activities on from time to time, and my channel is focused on my kids learning through play. So if we have all of this, then why do I send my children to public school? Since I started making videos, I have had several subscribers ask me why I don't homeschool my kids or have I ever considered it? The answer to that is a bit of a lengthy conversation, so I am going to try and explain this in as short a way as possible, but it might end up being a longer video. Basically, I have always wanted to be a teacher. But upon going to school and doing internships, I learned that there were certain aspects of this job that I did not enjoy. So instead, I have always tried to include education into our daily lives with our kids so that I can still enjoy that love for teaching. Ever since my kids were little, I have been reading to them nonstop and making sure that any toys they had had a learning aspect to them. I started taking things a step further when Michael was going through his terrible threes and we decided to do structured preschool activities. And we both fell in love with it. That very first year was still my favorite year. And during this time is when I started thinking about the possibility of homeschooling. Maybe this could be a way for me to be a teacher. I could teach my own kids. But I quickly discovered that that might not work out. In preparing for kindergarten, I was trying very hard to get Michael to learn the letters of the alphabet and the sounds they make. And for whatever reason, he could not retain the information. No matter how many activities we did, it just wasn't clicking. This is when a lot of frustration started happening on both ends. I discovered that maybe I wasn't as good as this as I thought I was, and that I have very little patience. You learn a lot about yourself through parenting. And this is when I started realizing that maybe homeschooling wasn't the right option for us. Ultimately, we had always planned on sending our kids to school, and homeschooling was just kind of a fun thought in the back of my mind. But when we went through our frustrations, it just really confirmed to me that Michael needed someone other than me. Once Michael started going to kindergarten, I kid you not, the first week of school, he learned his letters of the alphabet and the sounds. The first week. I just spent months trying to do this, and this teacher was able to do it in the first week. That is when I knew we made the right decision in sending him to school. I obviously was not what he needed. He thrives better outside of the home, and that's okay. Now, Aiden is a totally different conversation altogether. Why did we send him off to preschool? So for Michael, we did preschool at home. I never saw the point in sending him off to preschool when I am home anyway and perfectly capable, or so I thought. And so I planned on doing the same thing with Aiden. I will teach him until he's old enough for kindergarten. I was never worried about that transition from being with me to Michael going to kindergarten, but with Aiden, I was. He is very attached to me, and he's always been very shy. Even when we go to the library for story time, he will spend the entire time in my lap, and he won't really interact with the dances or the music or whatever we're doing. He just will not get out of my lap. So for him, I was worried about that transition of spending all day with me and then all of a sudden sending him to kindergarten for eight hours a day. So in order to make that transition easier, I knew that I needed to sign him up for preschool at least a few hours a day. And that was honestly the best decision we have ever made. He is thriving in preschool. He has opened up, he has so many friends. When I go to pick him up and I'm standing in line and they call his name, he's giving everybody high fives as he comes to get his backpack. It's the cutest thing. So I am so happy that we made the decision to send him to preschool. Now when we first did it, I'll be honest, I felt like a complete fraud. My channel is all about doing preschool at home and here I am sending my kids off to school, right? But that's what my kids needed. 
So now both my kids are in school. Michael is in first grade and Aiden is still in preschool. I get to enjoy a few hours each day to myself, which I cherish and I get to make videos for you guys. Then when they come home, we're still able to play and learn. Even though I might not be a homeschooling parent, I still wanna be involved in my kids' education. I like to help with homework and make sure that they have hands-on learning tools if they need it. I also like to set up activities for them so that we can learn new interesting things together. And our schoolroom is full of educational toys for them to play with in their free time. And I'm also able to share all these ideas with you guys through videos, which allows me to be able to pursue my passion for teaching. So there is my very long explanation for why I don't homeschool my kids. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.